Hello and welcome to this quick video on these things here. Uh, these two specific things actually. These are two of the latest batteries that I've just got in. These are from Hobby King. Now I haven't bought any batteries from Hobby King for a very, very long time. Uh, Hobby King used to be the place that I went to for pretty much all of my batteries back in the day. And when they left the UK, I kind of moved on to Tattoo and Genze's batteries and can never look back. Hobby King are back now in the UK and they're starting to stock batteries. Nowhere near as much choice as we used to have. Hopefully that's going to improve. However, one thing that did catch my eye, because I'm keeping an eye on the website, seeing what they're up to, is these HD packs. Now this is a 4S pack. This is a 6.2 or 6,200 milliamp hour 4S pack. This is a 6S pack. Now I've got the 6S one specifically for that Heat Wing T2 that I like to fly. It will easily take this kind of pack. It's quite a chunky pack. I'll talk about uh, the weights and dimensions and things in a minute and I'll need a larger pack in fixed wing that's going to be able to give me reasonable flight times. Now historically I have really liked things like the Gen Z stuff uh, so for example the R line for the quads is particularly nice the version 5 I'm a big fan of this 1400 150c milliamp hour pack I really love but also things like this bashing pack. This is a 5000 Gen Zace 60C milliamp hour pack. This is fab and this is actually what I'm flying in things like my Dart XL. Now I did a little post about these two uh, because I haven't actually used these HD batteries before. I've never got around to, um, to trying them out. Um, asked you as an audience what you thought of them and thank you to every single one of you. The majority it appears likes them uh, with a couple of people who have had a bad experience. But I think that's probably the same for most products. So I'm going to be testing these over the next two months. However, I thought it would be fun to just kind of answer those questions that a lot of people have already asked. So the headlines on these two packs, they are both 6,200 milliamp hours. Again, one is 4S, one is 6S. They're both claiming 60 to 120C discharge, and they both have ohm matched cells inside, allegedly. But we'll test that in a second. In terms of the 4S pack, the dimensions are 164 by 44 by 38 millimeters, measuring the pack I have here. Weight is about 612 grams. So that equals about 10.1 milliamp hours per gram. The 6S is a little bit bigger, naturally it has six versus two cells. So it's a couple of millimeters longer, 166 millimeters by 44 millimeters. So I'm guessing they're using the same cells in both, but it's 55 millimeters versus the 38 millimeters. It's quite a chunky bear, it's 884 grams with the connectors, so that works out at about 7 milliamp hours per gram. Now one thing I was really interested in here is that these heavy duty cells should have low internal resistances. Now these are brand new cells, I haven't flown or used them yet, so they should be in pretty good nick. However, it usually takes a couple of cycles for them to kind of settle down. I thought I'd pop them on my favorite 2S charger that has a pretty reasonable internal resistance check. This is the Genzace iMars dual charger. The 4S pack was showing 2.3, 1.1, 4.6, and 1.4 milliohms. Plugging in the 6S pack gave me 4.3, 2.4, three of the cells 1.1, which could potentially be the lowest resistance that my iMars dual will check. It's odd that they're all exactly the same. And the last one was 3.3 milliohms. Now I wouldn't bet my life on those numbers because they do change over time and it's also how good the connection is, but they seem to be pretty consistent when I've been checking them both here. That's a pretty low set of numbers. And I wondered how it would compare with those other packs that I talked about, the Tattoo R-Line and the Gen Zace bashing. So I popped them on the same charger while I had it all set up. And the Tattoo R-Line version that's a 1400 pack, so you'd expect the resistances to be a little bit higher. It is a performance pack though, and their resistances are between 1.5 and 12 milliohms. And I popped the Gen Zace bashing onto it as well. That's a 5000 milliamp hour pack. So similar in capacity to the HD packs that I just got in from Hobby King. And that was between 1.1 and 8.3 milliohms. It is interesting that the readings from these things in terms of the internal resistances 
do seem to be pretty close and they all seem to be pretty low. So fingers crossed, I've got two good ones here. And when I go and kind of use them in anger, they're going to work well, but stay tuned. I am going to put these through their paces through this next flying season. And I'll keep you updated on how they perform, whether they puff up and how they survive being used in the field. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.